Zweig had, as he himself said, if not in exactly these words, a kind of Midas touch. It surprised him. He just couldn't write anything that didn't sell thousands upon thousands of, of copies. Why was Stefan Zweig so successful? I mean, in his memoir, which is called The World of Yesterday, Zweig talks about success as a surprise guest who shows up and is welcome, but more someone to be amused by than someone that Zweig panted after. And he says he thinks that the reason he succeeded as much as he did was because of a radical character flaw, which was his own extreme impatience. He said, I just get bored so easily. Even in the great works, he wanted to propose an edition, in fact, he did to some publishers, an edition of the classics of literature with all the boring stuff cut out. He took great joy also in cutting himself. Exactly. That's because I, I think it's really important with his first wife. I remember one letter where he comes down and says, I just did it because he had managed to make some book of his, which was maybe a short story from 100 pages to 20. Well, it's just this, his joy at having made a much smaller work than he'd started out with was, 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 was overflowing. But Zweig actually talks about there being something very tonic in recognizing the transitoriness of fame, the arbitrariness of it. He says, whatever it is that makes for a lasting work, it's not necessarily what makes for fame. He, he links fame to channeling the zeitgeist very explicitly. So he says, don't think it's going to last with you. you know, Zweig saw his fame as nurtured by a living community. What he cared about with writing in a way that resonates with some of the ways we today think of our relationship as people and authors and artists and what have you through social media. He liked that direct feed and feedback. The other thing that's important um, with how his stories, how his fiction in particular works, is the intensity with which Zweig studied Freud early on. He was trying to think what he could take from what Freud had learned and how he could apply this to works of the imagination. It was a very unusual way to go about thinking of Freud at that time, but it's clear that part of what made Zweig's work so successful was his awareness of the unconscious lives of everyone. All my life, I have been passionately interested in monomaniacs as a, as a, of any kind. People carried away by a single idea. People as unworldly as they may seem burrow like termites into their own particular material to construct in miniature a strange and utterly individual image of the world. That's a great quote, and it is incredibly close to uh, remarks that he also makes in his memoir uh, about himself. Zweig began university and then essentially took what we would call today a semester abroad in Berlin, but writes of how instead of studying, what he did was hang out in bars with all sorts of dubious drug addicts and gamblers and thieves and people with different sorts of... Um, lives. Lives and sexualities. And, and he says, he, he, he finds himself most drawn to people who are really willing to live out their passion to the fullest. And this is something that defines his, his fiction and his biographies as well. You know, Zweig was popular among all classes, uh, all social classes. And this was because he was willing to grant these, uh, a symphonically rich inner life to the most humble person.